Hi, my name is Maziar. I'm a senior support engineer at MSC, and today I'd like to talk about generating flexible bodies using Adam's View Flex inside Adam's View environment and some of his options. When dealing with multi-body systems, we usually use uh, rigid body dynamics. But by adding flexibility to the system, we can uh, make better predictions of the frequencies of the system, and therefore uh, we can have better or more precise results. Adam's View Flex Toolkit will provide a capability of creating flexible bodies inside Adam's View environment by quickly creating uh, flexible bodies out of uh, usually simpler geometries. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of uh, quick demos on how to create flexible bodies inside Adam's View environment. In this ATV model, we'd like to make the lower control arm flexible. For this, you simply right click on the part in the viewport or from the model browser and select Make Flexible. Here, the name and the material of the part to be made flexible are auto-populated. We input 20 as the number of requested normal modes for this part and go with the defaults, which means that we do not use the advanced settings. This creates a modal representation of the lower control arm with 20 normal modes and 4 multiplied by 6 interface modes, a totaling up to 50 modes considering the 6 rigid body modes. An MSC NAS trans solver executable that is shipped with the Atoms installation runs in the background to generate the MNF file. So now let's repeat the same process with a brief look at the advanced settings. Here we toggle to advanced settings like so. We see mesh options, mesh refinement methods, and a separate tab where we define attachments or interface nodes. This is equivalent to defining RB elements in an FBA package. Currently ViewFlex offers TET mesh for solids and quad elements for shells. We have the option to use quadratic elements, define mesh seeds, bias, uh, etc. You might be one of the users who has access to an FEA package, but you don't have the option to create the proper MNF files for importing into Atoms. But obviously, using that FEA package, you can create a very proper mesh. In this case, using ViewFlex, one can import the mesh, define the RBE elements for the attachment points, and generate the MNF file using the ViewFlex toolkit within the Atoms View environment. Atom View Flex is a very powerful tool uh, within Atom's View environment that helps generate simple to relatively complex flexible bodies within our Atom's View environment or Atom's car environment without the need to know a lot about FEA or without the need to an FEA preprocessor in place.